Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a quick video on how to make a homemade adapter for that hooks from your phone to your spotting scope. So this only cost me five bucks. It's really pretty easy, simple. So I just got this five dollar case on, uh, I got it on Amazon. And so we're using inch and half, inch and half ABS. ABS. So see how loose that is? We'll just add some duct tape and then put a hook on there. Yeah. All right, one of the things that you need to figure out is how far of a pipe you need. So you just hold it up there. So that's about, that's about right. And so I just made this, this guess. I'll just hold it right there, bring it close to the camera. So I think that's gonna work. And obviously when I zoom in, so I think that length will probably be just right. Yeah. And then we'll glue it on and test it out. So basically, basically, after we clean this up with a razor blade, we're going to center this right over the camera, just like that, mm -hmm. and then get a pencil and we're going to mark this, mark a circle around this edge, so we know exactly where to glue it with the epoxy. So I'll, t so I'll have a circle around this edge where I'm going to glue it, and then with epoxy I'm going to squirt this epoxy out onto a plate, mix it up really good, put a, a healthy amount of epoxy around the edge of the pipe there, take the take it off your phone so you don't get glue on your phone, and then just, you'll have, the, you'll have your chalk line around here, and then I'm just gonna glue it right there with tons of epoxy, and just like let it sit for like an hour, and then uh, you're done. All right, so we got this finished. I basically did exactly as Ray had said. This is inch and a half ABS. Because the Google Pixel 3 phone camera is in the far top corner, I ended up cutting a piece of just scrap sheet metal and drilling a hole in it. So it kind of can sit on this side if you can see that. Um, I, it probably would have been best. I mean, that as you can see, the hole's not the best, but but you'll see it works still just fine. Um, probably would have been best if I would have glued this to the sheet metal and let that dry, but I was kind of in a hurry, so I just glued that on and glued this. And then really, I just eyeballed it and just said, okay, my camera's gonna be there, and I just centered it as close as I could between this. Um, you can see there's duct tape in there, because we had to shrink that size. Um, and I actually, I was kind of was doubtful. I didn't think it would work, but as you'll see it, it turned out pretty good um, I didn't want the glue on it so I didn't slide my phone in I just kind of set my phone on top of the case and tried centering it so I could see where my camera was at and then I just eyeballed this and once I thought it would center it I just let it dry it and, and it ended up working out so we're going to test it here so I'm there's a, a tree there and there's a pine tree kind of directly behind it which is 83 yards away so that's zoomed to 40 power, and if you, you can zoom in just a little bit on your uh, phone to get rid of the circle, so now he's not super huge, but he's barely a 6x6. Six six. Oh yeah, he's mammoth. He's, he's a big boy. He's got some messed up. He's kind of messed up on this side. 
All right, guys, does that bowl look familiar? This bowl was actually shot four years before that film, that footage that Dave just shot. And you can tell has a lot of the same genes as the one we ju you just barely watched. He has the uh, cheater going off the top on the left-hand side. And it's a pretty cool bowl. See how the, it doesn't really have a third and that bowl in the film didn't really have a third either, which is kind of cool. So I thought that was awesome. So I shot this bowl four years ago. I have a, have some footage. I have a YouTube video of this one. So if you guys want to go back into the past and watch that, my very first video I uploaded actually. And then uh, we got a couple hunts coming up here shortly. Got a muzzleloader hunt coming up, and then Dave is going on a rifle hunt. I'm gonna go with him as well. We'll hopefully get some sweet footage. Hopefully some good kill shot footage of his uh, deer, his monster deer he's gonna shoot coming up. So uh, thanks, subscribe if you guys wanna see more of this and leave comments on how to make these videos better. This was just a short video, but hopefully it helps someone. We're just trying to get, just trying to get more content out there. Thanks a lot.